what I have here is a box made out of foam core board. Uh, if you're not familiar with foam core, it's uh, just a foam material with uh, paper on each each side of it, it's laminated together. I basically cut a hole, so it just fiction fits, fiction fits on the front of my camera, and it moves in and out with. This is part of a a larger rig that I normally use, and then for airsoft, I have another couple of pieces in here to space. A piece of plexiglass away from the lens and then this is an old one that's all scratched up that I don't use anymore and I just velcro it in there uh, if you don't have a matte box around it then the light reflects off the plexiglass and it just gives you a horrible image all right so here is a little bit better shot of the matte box I guess with the black here you could definitely tell why I'm going to shoot this video with the white uh, one of the keys is to cut this hole slightly smaller than your filter size so it will friction fit on there. Alright, let's make a little sketch so, it, uh, so you guys can better understand what I'm building. Alright, so I'm going to start off with a square piece of foam core board the hole in it. I'm going to build my box off of here. And and inside here, I'll make I'll put two strips. This is a, along the back edge with Velcro pads in here. So lens will come through right here. Um, and then one thing that you can do because this is kind of a big opening, it can still let an awful lot of light in. Is you can take some of those that Velcro and fold it over right here. So you have a little bit of Velcro on the on the edge. And that will allow you to take another piece that we'll we'll figure out later how big it needs to be, but then you can cut a hole in here and this piece that will be as large as the outside and there'll be matching Velcro on that. And then this will be just large enough to stay outside of the frame and I'll be able to keep the maximum amount of light off the lens. When you're cutting foam core, don't try to cut through all in one pass. It's, it's usually a lot better if you take a couple of passes at it. I usually score it on the first pass, cut through the foam on the second, paper on the third. Got a nice clean cut. All right, it's easy to find the center. All you have to do is cross your corners. All right, so I took the UV filter off my camera and I'm gonna just eyeball it. I'll get it pretty close. And then trace around it. Just take your time with this, there's no rush. cleanest cut in the world. Normally when I do this I take uh, a new exacto knife, this one's kind of rusty, and I'll just kind of go around and I'll poke in at it. So uh, if you're a little more particular like I usually am then that would be something you might want to try out.
you do want this kind of tight though. All right, so when I built the original one, I'd figured the six inches out so that with the camera sitting right on the ground, it would sit flat. So I could set the camera down on a table and it would be supported by the camera body itself and the lens hood. Now I need the parts that come out all the way around here that, that stick out. And this one was honestly too shallow. So I'm going to cut two pieces. This one I actually went the you know the other pieces came off of this side. This one I'm going the other way because the two other pieces need to be um, twice the thickness of the material longer than our six inches. And in case you didn't figure out why they need to be longer. Let's take our two shorter pieces. Alright, so this is six inches. Now we have this piece here. And these side pieces are going to be this thickness, this piece, and the top, top thickness. That's why these have to be a little bit longer. You can even see right now I'm already the thickness of the material short on the top. Might want to just mark the width of it. Let's get this off. Test fit this. It's pretty good. Awesome, easy to use, quick and dirty. Um, you may not actually need to put these spacers in for your application, but since we're putting this plexiglass piece in here, um, this will hit the filter as where it comes through. So I need a couple of spacers in there to hold the piece of plexiglass away from my camera's lens. All right, so there's the scrap pieces. And then when I put the plexiglass in there, it'll sit away from the front so that this plexiglass won't hit the filter on the... Uh, and when your plexiglass gets as scratched up as this, time to chuck it in the trash. So yeah, that holds it away from the uh, lens in there. And the strips I put on the original one went all the way across. I just stuck those on there because that was what the scraps I had left over. For the piece that goes on the front, say it goes right in, on here with the hole with the hole in it to let the light into the lens, but as little as possible. What I'm going to do is set the camera on a tripod, look through it, and I'm going to move this piece down until it blocks my image. I'm going to Slide this down, and right there I can see, I can see it just in the image. Now on the sides, it's really hard to do all this at one time. The sides are going to be pretty close. Alright, so as it turns out, 
with the three inches on this box, on the depth of the box, the vignette almost, the box almost vignettes it. If you can see me, I can just take my finger in there, you can see it shows up. Alright, I'm running out of daylight now. And I don't really have time to set up some lighting. So we're going to have to live with it on this particular. See, I haven't cut a whole lot of foam with this, but it's already dulling my utility knife. So it has to be really sharp to do a, a good job. Use that as a reflector in the back. So it has to be sharp to do a good job, and the, the foam does dull it really fast. Okay, so what I could do is just hold this on here, kind of in the center, and get my marks. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to come inside here a little ways just so I can show you guys what it looks like when it vignettes. So there you go. You got a square with the hole in it. Let's stick this on the camera and see what it looks like. All right, so I cut this small on purpose so you would see if it's too small you're gonna see that on the uh, around the outside edge of your image so this would be more appropriate for uh, being zoomed in a little bit and now it vanishes so I could either velcro this onto the front of the box or glue it trim it around there uh, I, I would probably go with the velcro because then it would be more versatile you'll be able to take this on and off and change it out with other with other screens all right what you're looking at i hope this helped you out i hope you can get it together in time for your uh, shoot this weekend hope this really helps out um not hard to build uh, i'll I'll make some mods to this for you filmmaker types and uh, photographers, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.